And you hear all the peepers I'm surrounded by. I'm figuratively sitting on the side of a cliff, and also literally. These birds, they come up to me. Maybe I'm the one, maybe I'm the one who is a schizophrenic psycho. Hello, 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 hello. There's, there's another one now right behind me. Literally, like, can you see it? I can't tell. Probably not. The sun is in my eyes. So you're in the matrix, right? Well, you are. But you don't know that you are because you're immersed in it. Like a fish is immersed in water. It doesn't know it's wet. But there are signs that you can tell you're in the matrix if you start paying attention. Pay attention. It happens constantly if you pay attention. Number sequences. Little, like you're reading a word when someone says it on TV. My son notices this all the time, it's cute. He'll be like, he'll ask me a question and then the TV will go, yeah, which is the answer he wants to hear, stuff like that. We laugh about it because kids get it, you know? But what, what, what you're doing in the Matrix, what you don't realize is it, the program is created for your projection. So what you're experiencing is what's in your head that you are creating. It's your own manifestation. You've picked a reason to learn these things, like the fact that these two birds are like this to me, talking while I'm trying to talk. Hello! They're being very rude, but I don't mind. I love birds. I wouldn't be surprised if one landed on my head. Clearly they're making me lose my train of thought, but I will pick it back up, I assure you. Here's the thing. If you look at what you're attracting into your life, it's exactly what you need to work on. So, why do I keep attracting into my life people who lie to me? Now I can hear Byron Katie's voice saying, Can you see the turnaround? Yes. Why is fill in the blank lying to me? He's lying to me. Is it true? Or am I somehow, somewhere in my life that I need to look at lying to myself. And now, here's the mirror. Do I learn from it? Do I look in the mirror and see the projection that I'm creating in the matrix? Or do I just break the mirror? Because I don't want to look at it. the ego. The ego doesn't want to look in the mirror because it doesn't want to see what it is because then it will lose total power over you and that's all that it has. All the ego has is the power that you feed it. You feed it with your feelings. You feed it with your projections. You feed it with your pain, your sorrow, your anger. It's the cycle that never ends because the ego, even if you get so close that you want to destroy it, 
you're still just going to destroy yourself. That's why there's this inner urge inside of everyone that that's like a death wish. We try to eat it, we try to smoke it, we try to drink it, we try to kill it somehow. But it's us, and we're the only ones who can realize that the ego is not even real. While you're sitting there trying to strangle down the ego from having these feelings, you're only hurting yourself. So where are you lying to yourself? Are you lying because you don't want to be the ego that you are being? Because you don't want to look at the ego that you're seeing? I do not know of anyone in my life that I've ever met that doesn't lie. So why is everyone lying? What are we hiding from ourselves as a being, as a, not just a species, but as an entity that exists in this matrix? What are we lying about? What are we so afraid of? I think it's our power. The power that we would have if we weren't playing the ego. So why don't we stop? Why can't we? Why can't we stop being this thing that we aren't? You can look at it and realize, if you realize what you are, you're the thing that's watching the ego. You aren't the ego. You're that thing that says, I am. But that I am presence, if you're not watching it happen, the I am thinks it's the ego, but you're actually only the essence of the creative force that exists in the universe pretending to be stuck in a body. The body is a mechanism, it's a vehicle, it's for you to use to understand your power, but how powerful you are is that you're using your power to be powerless. That's how powerful you are. You're so powerful that you can actually feel like you're powerless. You have that much power that you've created all of this to simply feel like you can do nothing. So you can pretend to be sick, you can pretend to be weak, you can pretend that everything is out of your control, you can pretend that things are happening to you, you can pretend that you can't change the things that are happening to you, you can pretend that other people's expectations of you are what you have to do. But why are those expectations there? If they weren't inside you, projected outside of you for you to look at, they wouldn't even exist. So why do you have these expectations of yourself? You need to be loved, is that true? Do you need people to care about you? Do you need people to have a good opinion of you? Do you need people to think that you're worthwhile? That you have something to offer? Why can't you just be? birds know. We talk about evil like it's something outside of us, but what it actually is, it's what's inside of us. It's not a positive or a negative. It's the fact that all of the power that we have, if we were using it, we would call that a Christ actualized person. So when we talk about Christ, we're talking about someone who realized they are everything and have all the power, all this you will do and more. Was not some kind of, I'm better than everyone. It was actually like, look at what we're capable of not what I'm doing. Don't applaud me. Look what is possible. Look what is possible for everyone. But what is the absence of having that power? That's the Antichrist. The Christ is knowing who you are and having all of your power. And the state of the collective conscience 
right now, as it's occurring today on Earth, that is the Antichrist. That is why everyone is in a state of ego, in a state of lying, in a state of perpetual bullshit, making up fake things that don't matter. In a reality construct where all things are possible and we have all power, we are the Antichrist, the absence of Christ, the absence of knowingness. We've chosen this illusion. This is the matrix. We're trying to wake you up. The matrix itself is for you to experience and learn from, and it's trying to wake you up. It doesn't exist without you. It's of you, for you, and because of you. It is what you are. The ocean, the plants, the sun, the birds. It's all you. It's God experiencing itself as movement, as solidity, as fluidity. The choice that we've made to experience this powerlessness is the epitome of martyrdom. I gave my own self a message through a movie that I made, that I only realized more than a year after the movie was made and I watched it several times. I made it. I didn't even have to watch it. I know what it was about, but I didn't understand what I was saying to myself. <laughs> and that's what we're capable of doing here. I don't know if you were in my movie, so here's your cameo. And you, yes, I see you too. Yes. Look, it's the figurative edge of a cliff. 